This is the brand new OnePlus Pad 3, and this is Zelda, my brand new nine week old kitten. She's so cute, and she's kind of a terror. She likes to climb everything, including my clothing. Super fun. Luckily, her nails are not very long yet, but you will see her around my videos because she is very adorable and we are taking close, close care of her. So this is OnePlus's 2025 standout tablet, and I have been testing it out for everything from editing to entertainment to using the AI features. So I want to see if it lives up to the hype. What's up, s'mores? I'm Shannon Morse. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So first things, first special thanks to oneplus for sending this unit out for my review let's get into the pricing and availability so the oneplus pad 3 starts at 699.99 in the us or 999.99 in canada you can pre-order it on oneplus.com and it officially drops on july 8th but if you pre-order before july 7th use my link down below in the comment section and you can choose two free gifts up to 299 dollars so we are talking about the smart keyboard, the Stylo 2 stylus, and a folio case. In the US markets, you will get the tablet itself, a Super VOOC power adapter, a Type-C cable, and all the usual paperwork. So this thing, I think it's a glow up from its predecessor. The Pad 3 is OnePlus's thinnest and strongest tablet yet, coming in at just under six millimeters thin and weighing 675 grams. It does have this slick aerospace grade aluminum unibody in storm blue or frosted silver, and y'all, it feels pretty premium. There's also a redesigned rear camera that's located up in the corner. Now, real quick, if you are finding this video helpful, a subscribe would mean so much to me. Subscribing is totally free. It helps more of my videos pop up in your YouTube feed, and then you can see little Zelda every single week. Unsponsored videos like this one are free to watch thanks to my Patreon supporters, my s'mores, and my YouTube channel members, so thank you so much and a big Patreon shout out to my newest s'mores. You can join them and support my channel by going over to patreon.com slash Shannon Morse for perks like early video access and my private discord. Thank you so much again to my YouTube members and patrons for making this video possible. Let's go ahead and move on to the screen. I think the screen is also a step up from the Pad 2. It's a 13.2 inch LCD with a 3.4K resolution. I know it's not OLED. It's also a 315 pixels per inch. 12-bit color depth. It's also iCare 4.0 certified too. And the seven by five aspect ratio is kind of a dream for productivity. Like you've got more space for documents and it makes split screening multitasking super fluid and easy. Brightness hits 900 nits in high brightness mode. That's really nice and bright. And y'all, it looks really good outside on a bright day. And it includes a buttery smooth 144 Hertz refresh rate with up to 540 Hertz touch sample. Sampling. Yes, the bezels are very thick around those edges. You can definitely see that thick black bar around those edges. I do wish it was a little bit thinner, but to be honest, when I'm playing with this tablet, I don't really notice it that much. Now, OnePlus is giving us a little bit of extra energy here with eight different speakers, and they are all lined up pretty nicely pretty organized. And yes, there are four woofers, four tweeters. They're very symmetrically placed. I was watching some Handmaid's Tale on it and the audio was super crisp. It works really well as an entertainment platform. Let's move on to the camera with a really quick camera rundown. We've got a 13 megapixel rear and an eight megapixel on the front. You're not gonna be shooting movies on this thing. It's totally fine for Zoom calls or scanning documents though. This is what it would look like if you were doing a Zoom call. What do you think? And here is the back camera, the stabilization and audio. So in this case, I'm recording in 4K 30 as opposed to the front facing camera, which only does 1080p 30. Suki, do you want, oh, to use the magic words, do you want, it also supports Wi-Fi 7, Bluetooth 5.4, and it has a USB-C 3.2 Gen 1 port. There is no headphone jack though, so just plan for Bluetooth. Now under the hood, the OnePlus Pad 3 is rocking the new Snapdragon 8 Elite chipset. Now this is the first tablet with it, and I gotta say it's pretty spicy. Up to 16 gigs of RAM are included, and up to 512 gigs of UFS 4.0 storage means it can handle gaming and editing and like 47 Chrome tabs open 
running without breaking a sweat. There's also a 256 gig storage and 12 gig RAM model. Your options are going to vary depending on which market you're purchasing this in. No expandable storage though, so you are kind of stuck with whichever options are available in your country. There is also vapor chamber cooling with a graphene composite. So when I'm playing games on here, like Genshin Impact, my experience was really positive. Like Genshin Impact was on high graphics and it ran really smoothly and it did not overheat even with a case on it. Now I also have that 12,140 milliamp per hour battery. So that will bank you up to 17 hours of video, six hours of high-end gaming and up to 70 days of standby. That's what OnePlus is quoting. Plus 80 watts super VOOC charging means one to 100% in about 92 minutes. A 10 minute charge is going to get you back to 18%. So yes, it's road trip or flight approved. No problems there. Now in my experience, I took this thing off the charger at 9.30 AM and I used it for some video streaming, some gaming and productivity tasks till it finally died in the evening. This tablet also includes face unlock, no fingerprint sensor, and it did work reliably for me whenever I was using the face unlock. It's also running Oxygen OS 15. You've got the upgraded open canvas for multitasking and it's really cool to use. There's this AI toolbox for writing and translating. Circle to search is included and this cool little sidebar that will suggest split screening whenever it notices that you're juggling apps. There's also Google Gemini integration with the AI key on the keyboard. I'll show you that in a bit. It even supports remote control your Mac, but I don't actually have a Mac to test that with, but I am completely serious when I say that. OnePlus actually told us reviewers that this is a thing. You also get three years of Android OS updates and six years of security updates. I think that's just Okay, I would like to see more Android OS updates into the future. Now onto the accessories. First, we have the smart keyboard. This is probably my favorite one. This lets you use the tablet as a laptop. It has a dedicated AI key, comfortable keys with low travel and natural distance between the keys. There's also a full cover with a stand. Now the keyboard even has an NFC tag in it. So if you have a OnePlus phone, you can auto share photos from it to your tablet. I also think the pogo pin attachment is not strong enough. The magnet attachment is a little bit finicky. The trackpad itself is sensitive. You can barely touch it to move the mouse around the screen. Now, unfortunately, that smart keyboard that I showed you with the Pad 2 back in that video review is not compatible with this tablet because the pogo pins are in a different placement. So unfortunately, you have to get the new one if you still want to use it keyboard with it. Now we also have the OnePlus Stylo 2. This has 16,000 pressure levels. My cat is climbing onto my shoulder again. She does this all the time. <laughs> you can annotate directly even from a lock screen. The palm rejection with this thing totally works and that makes me very happy because I'm a lefty. Lefties unite. You know what I'm talking about. It magnetically attaches to your tablet and it charges wirelessly whenever you dock it. Now lastly is the trifold folio case, which makes me feel a little bit dumb every single time I use it because I can never figure out all the different ways that you can fold this thing. So should you buy the OnePlus Pad 3? Well, honestly, if you're in the market for a premium Android tablet that does nearly everything right, then this is a really great buy. We've got that lovely screen, awesome, powerful performance, a really good battery and some fancy AI software, plus some really great accessories. But again, it's not OLED, it's not an OLED. There's no way to add storage and the cameras are just a little bit meh, but all tablets just have meh cameras. Now, if you are planning to pre-order, hit up oneplus.com down below to snag those bonus gifts while you can using my link. And if you have any questions, make sure to comment those down below as well. I do have this as a long-term review so I can answer your questions into the future. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye y'all.